Hello everyone, welcome back to Coach's Desk, uh, the place where you get your sporting experience. And we're happy to know that we are able to, you know, bring to you topical discussions, bring to you uh, things that you can comment on, things that you can deliberate on, things that can pick your brain, you know what I mean? So thanks again to all the viewers out there all the subscribers and the new subscribers the oldest but goodies thank you very much also persons who have been watching and you have not yet subscribed it is pretty easy all you need is a gmail account email account and you just hit the red button that marks subscribe to turn it gray hit the notification bell as well so that when we drop these videos you will be well on your way to listen and watch the video. Your style and your flavor make the city rock. They must say the season come out with a bang. Coach Minzy, best round here. Remember that. So, um, let's talk about the Reggae Boys game versus Serbia. Uh, yes, many will say that this game was played versus a Wheaton Serbian team, yes. Also, persons should recognize that this was also a Wheaton Jamaican team. So, we have to be objective in, in the way we, we go about talking about the team, talking about the game. Um, all in all, in my estimation, it was a, a, a useful game. Um, I, 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 I hope and, ex and, and, and think that the coach would have seen some things that needs to be worked on. He would have seen some improvements in areas. And the wheel continues to turn. You know what I mean? Road to Qatar, it's not very far. So, with that said... We spoke about Damian Lowe's performance. Persons talk about Ravel's 15 minutes performance. Um, Wes Harding, on his debut, I believe he had a, 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 an outstanding game. Yes. Damian Lowe, first time in the holding midfield position. I think he did a, a pretty decent job. Out of position sometimes. But you'd have won tackles, you'd have made some good passes. Um, you can basically see that this man is not actually used to this position. And it, it is a position that is very demanding, which he's not used to in terms of um, covering distance. And I did mention that in an earlier video um, to talk about that. So, yeah, people... So let's let let's look at, uh, at one position that um, we want to talk about, which is a goalkeeping position. I believe yes, we want to talk about Dennis Taylor's performance in goal. I believe that he did an excellent job. Um, he he was cool, calm, and collective when back passes were made and the players were rushing onto him. He didn't panic. He played the ball out very confidently. Um, I think his passing ratio in terms of um, completed passes were very good he, he found the targets and um, he, he did excellent excellently well he commanded his area pretty well um, so the 30 year old is, is, is a useful um, player in the team he's a good backup for Andre Blake so all in all it was a creditable performance from a uh, Dennis Taylor the Umberland man very good performance. Um, he would have wanted to keep that uh, clean sheet, but I think the defenders would have caused that goal. The, they blocked the shot from the same player who, sh who, who made the shot, and they allowed him to take the rebound and, and, and shoot again, which ended up in the back of the net. And uh, I believe that Dennis Taylor was furious with them because they backed off and gave the player too much time on the ball. So... Definitely, I think um, he's a good player. 
uh, um, persons were in doubt because, you know, no league has been played almost over a year. Well, not almost over a year, over a year um, in Jamaica. And, I mean, they were saying that this player shouldn't be called. But owing to his performance, I think it was a very good call-up. And uh, you would have, um, you know, earned his, his, his spot in the starting lineup. Um, it was also good to see fellow goalkeeper Jadine White after the game go over to him and actually, you know, um, praised him, commended him, you know, give him the high five, the hug for a very good performance that he would have done. So that's a very good thing to see. That shows that the gelling is there developing among the goalkeepers. Um, there is no bad mind, as some people would say. Yeah, man, it's a good look. And knowing that J.D. White would have started the game before and for him to be supporting his fellow um, goalkeeper, then it's a good look. So all in all, very good performance. And he's one for the future. Um, you know that goalkeepers normally have a longer lifespan than a defender, than a, 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 a midfielder and a forward. So I, I believe that he has years to come in this team. Once he stays healthy, once he stays committed, and I think he, he actually, you see these players who, who, who got their debut and probably playing another game because Dennis Taylor would have been playing his second game. These players would have relished the moment and they would have taken it with both arms. They latched onto it and I think they had a point to prove and they did so um, tremendously. So big up to these players who actually, you know, put in some good performance. And again, we are hoping that they, they do pretty well against the U23s of Japan and, you know, come out with a very good result. So, big ups to Dennis Taylor, big ups to the coaching staff, the technical team again, for a good um, game against a top team in Serbia. I'm out.